Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of Tech Tips. My name is Basir, and this week we'll be talking about the auto join. The auto join is a rule set where you would tell it where you tell it how you want your different wall types to be joined together, whether they're in a corner configuration, intersection configuration, is gonna place a join that you set up in your rule set. So if I have wall type A joining a wall type A, for example, I want to place join X. But when I have wall type B joining a wall type B, I want to place join Y, et cetera, et cetera. We can use the auto join command by simply selecting an entire floor plan. So I'm just going to select this entire section. We have different uh, corner configurations between exterior and interior walls, intersections, et cetera. And simply go to my walls drop down menu, auto join, select the auto join that I have right over here. And it is going to look throughout my different wall types and place the joints that I want. You're going to see that it's just placing a few joints real quick. Placing 17 joints. And as you can see, it placed all my joints for me, depending on whether it's a corner, place J104, if it was an intersection, place J126. Now, before we can use this auto join like this, we need to set up the rule set. So what I have here is just a simple project where I, I might have all my different corner and joint configurations. So I have, you know, between my generic 8-inch walls, between my 6-inch walls, 4-inch wall corners, intersections, 3-wall intersections, you know, convex, concave uh, corners, and my four wall intersections. So you would have all your you know different corners you need to have them drawn. You could use the the model itself for it. Or what I have done is a simple kind of representation of what uh, my different intersections and corners would be like. So first step would be to go into your markers, marker types, and actually create a rule set for it. So you want to go to project, rule set, your panels auto join. And simply duplicate the default. Call it, call it, I'm just gonna call it auto join. It's gonna be hit OK. And I just created that rule set. If you go into the rule set, we notice that it is a blank rule set. We need to add our different rules to it, telling it you know how we want to frame these different uh, corners and intersections. The way we do that is I'm simply gonna close it. The way we do it is very similar to placing actual joints. So you're going to select two walls that are in a corner configuration, for example. Simply go to your walls. Instead of placing a joint, I'm going to add a panel joint right over here. I'm going to add it. Simply select the signature that I want. For example, let's say I want to place J102 for that corner. Simply hit OK. And then I'm going to select what rule set I want to add it to. I have my default and the auto joint I just created. I want to add it to my auto joint be selected and then this is kind of the summary of what my uh, that particular rule is so when I have a corner between two walls perpendicular it is going to place J102 and those two walls that are in a corner configuration are a generic 8 inch and a generic and with another generic 8 inch so what I have if I put the green check mark here it is going to be a very generic Sorry, a very specific rule set, meaning that if I try to run this auto join between these two walls right over here, it is not going to work because this rule set is only for these eight inch walls. So what that means is we can make a different, we could, for example, place a different joint type, you know, rule for when we have six inch joining with the six inch wall. These might be, you know, exterior walls. These might be my bearing walls that I want to, you know, place a different join configure join signature in. So now that I made this very specific, I'm going to add a few rule sets to these ones as well. Simply select uh, my two walls, on my walls, add panel join rule, and simply say that I want to place J104 when I have two six inch walls joining with each other. Hit OK. I want to add it to my auto join. And I have my summary again between generic six inch and generic six inch. I'm going to do that one last time for my uh, foreign generic four inch wall. So you would do this for every wall type if you want to make it very uh, generic. I'm going to go ahead and select 
this J1 111, for example, where when I have my four inch walls. I'm going to select the auto join and I have my summary again. Next, I want to, so you would do this for, you know, your different wall types if you had, you know, other wall types. Next, I'm going to go to my intersections between two walls. So simply select the two walls, same thing, add panel join row. But this time, I'm simply going to say select J126, hit the OK button. This time, instead of making it, you know, between 8 inch and 8 inch, I want to make it a very generic rule set, saying that I don't care what wall types I have. I just want to place J126 when I'm in an intersection, uh, intersect between two walls perpendicularly. So essentially saying that I want to place J126 for when I have 8 inch wall types, 6 inch, 4 inch, any wall types. The way we can make it generic is by simply selecting the host one, for example, and clicking on the set wall type button right over here. So now I have all my different wall types available in this project. I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way up and put it to the blank uh, wall type. Essentially saying that if I don't really care what wall type I have. So now it's whatever wall type, that's my main wall type, joining with the generic 8 inch, it is going to place J126. I'm going to select host 2, click on the set wall type and make that generic as well. Now that they're both generic, simply hit OK. And now I make a rule set for all my inter that encompasses all my inter uh, set between two walls configuration. So I don't have to make another rule set for six inch walls, four inch walls, since the, it's going to place J126 regardless of what wall type it is. Next, we're going to do the same thing for my three wall intersection. So this is an intersection between three walls joining in the middle. I'm simply going to say I want to place J119. I'm going to hit OK, auto join, and then once again I'm going to make it very generic. So we have the options of you know making it generic or specific. We don't even have to have these different wall types. Uh, as you can see I have three different wall types already uh, created so I can add these rules to. You don't have to have them. You could manually change the wall type over here. For example, I just change it from an 8 inch generic to a 4 inch generic. If I press the blue check mark, it's only going to accept it when it's, when, you know, one of the generic wall types is a 4 inch. Let me go ahead and make that. And then you would obviously add a rule set for these ones as well. Add panel join rule. These ones we don't have much choice when it comes to these concave and convex corners. Simply make it generic. So you'll notice that I'm adding these rule sets to the same auto join. And that way you don't have to, you know, select all your floors, select auto join for corners, select auto join for intersect. You you add it to the same exact as you can see right now, I just simply created a join instead of adding a panel join rule. Simply redo the steps, say that I want to add it to my auto join, and make it very generic as well. And now, once we're ready, I'm simply able to select my entire floor plan and simply run the auto joins command. So wall auto join. Select my auto join uh, rule set that I have right here. And it's going to run throughout my entire project and start placing my different joins. You'll notice that I have this error saying no rule found on members, you know, on these generic six inch walls, so four members. And that is referring to this four wall intersection that I have right over here. Since I did not have a rule set that deals with, you know, this situation, it simply said that there was no rule found, so I just skipped it. But if you take a look at these different uh, rules, I already placed my uh, rule sets accordingly. You'll notice that I'm also placing these joint types before I even have a panel in them. That's entirely up to your workflow. You could create them with a panel or without a panel. You could create them, sorry, before a panel or after a panel. Thank you very much. This has been TechTips. See you guys next week.